Hello sports students and welcome back to another of these online sports sessions. We hope that you have been enjoying the process throughout this booklet. I'm not going to spend as much time at the start of this session to reflect on the progress we've made in the journey so far. I'm simply going to jump straight into this is where we're at right now and what you should be doing for this session. So here we go. A reminder to you that last week we had already written our warm-up, skill practice and cool-down for the specific skill component that you wanted to work on for your sport required and you would have completed your first of four practice sessions. Now some of you might have forgotten to fill in the reflection on that practice session so feel free if you can from memory right now fill that in right now. However, if you did complete it during the session, which would have been great, you would have noticed that you still might need to make some more improvements and you might have needed to make some changes for the practice session below. Because if we're already perfect at this skill, then there was no point in choosing it in the first place and you won't make instant changes after one session. So I want you to have a look back at what you reflected on from session one and go back into your actual um, session plan right here and make any changes. The way that we get better at this is by making it progressively harder and more challenging each and every session. If you weren't able to complete the things that you had laid out in the first session, then you might need to keep it the same because that might have been too challenging for you. However, if that session was too easy, you weren't making very many mistakes, then by all means, make some changes, make it a little bit more challenging. And feel free to Google how to make some of those challenges if you can't think of them yourself. So, first thing, update your practice plan. Second thing, complete the warm-up skill practice and cool down that you write on your updated plan. And final thing for today is fill out the reflection on practice session two. So, once you've done that, don't forget to upload your updated PDF file into the learning task on Compass. But I'm also going to ask today that you take some photos of yourself completing this session for authentication purposes, or you get a family member to take those photos for you and just email them through to your teacher just to provide us with some evidence and proof that you are completing these sessions. Once again, we hope you're really enjoying this and you're getting something from it. Your teacher is available via email throughout the session, so if you have any questions or concerns, just contact them directly.